Anne is thinking. Hello. Good evening. Actually, I'm about to sleep. Kaya lang, I remember, I haven't explained yet the word of the, the word of the day. Or is that expression that I posted the Kelty na melody, okay? So, Kelty na melody, I use it whenever there's a foul smelling something that you smell. I said, Kelty na sounding like dirty. Kelty! Like, Pesi <laughs> Kelty! Like that. Then, na melody, you add the, you say, Kelty na melody, if the smell is really in the air and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make wala wala in an instant. As if, hmm, Pesi Kelty! Then, no, later on, after how many seconds, then the smell is still there. Pesi Kelty na melody! Because, Kelty na melody means foul smell in the air. So just like a music, now it's a melody that you can hear. Now you can hear. So this one, now it's not the music that you can hear, but there's something foul smelling that it is in the air that keeps on what? As if, no, as if just keep, uh, just keeps on, uh, keeps on smelling. No, so you call that Keltina melody, okay? So I remember my friend, uh, my friend, my bestie Norman Tagbo, way back then, uh, we were using that. We were using that Keltina melody, but there was a time that uh, the one being used to referring on, for example, there's a, there's a Bodante, you know, a student or someone from the group maybe that smells that not, uh, smells not good. No, then you can just say angelita, angelito, no, which means anghit, okay, or what, or, or you can say, oh, it seems that Celine Dion visited us, because you can really have their the, you can really have their the power of love coming from the underarms, from the armpit, okay. So, I remember my friend, Bessie Norman, saying way back then, inside the classroom, saying, Angelo? Angelo. Then the uh, then the class said that sir, wala pong Angelo. Then my friend said, Bessie Norman said, meron. Andito si Angelo. No. Then when he talked about it in the faculty, they kept on laughing because you see, now they were not able to guess what he wanted to say by that time. So, so uh, it's good to use it. No, but now the it sounds it sounds familiar already. Na, from the word Angelo, ah, okay, ang hit. When you never you whenever you hear it, then ah, ang hit. Okay, and like the kauti, oh, like for example, earlier, oh, uh, we were eating. Then no, there came visit. There came also customers. Then indeed, no, the smell was bad. Then my friend Edison said kauti, kauti. But you see, no one reacted. Only us could understand it because what we knew what kauti means. Okay, then. That the smell didn't what banish in an instant. Then we said, Kelty na melody. <laughs> you see, Kelty na melody. Okay, or another thing, no, it's very you know, students keep on saying, May umutat, may umutat, like that. It sounds you know, it sounds awkward. No, it sounds so cheap. No, shouting, smelling. You see, you're busy in the class, it's very quiet. Then all of a sudden, the student will be shouting, May umutat. No, so you see, it's ill. No, it sounds ill. But if you will just be saying, Tutsigibara, ha? Oh, you see, Tutsigibara means utot. No? Why? Tutsi? Okay, no. But of course, the word is, Kyauti na melody. So you just say, Kyauti. If you smell it uh, all of a sudden, Hmm, Kyauti. No, at least, no one will get offended. Now then, Kelty na melody, if the smell is really in the air and it doesn't vanish in an instant, okay? So, okay, I'm able to give explanations already about Kelty na melody. So, I have no kulang on explaining the the one that I posted in my talak ka. So, okay, I can, good evening. It's time to sleep. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!